Good morning IED. This is just going to be a quick video testing out our Super Lego as well as running through solutions should it not work at a particular point. So we're going to start at 2x6 as our potentially largest Lego and I'm going to head over to my parameters and I'm going to be changing the X and Y of my parameters off screen just uh, do what I say if you want to match those results because I'm having difficulty clicking them on this screen. Okay, so I'm going to change this to a 2x5. And that looks fine. 2x4. Uh, this thing pops up, I'm just going to click accept and it looks fine. If you ever see that error, just click accept and we can work with what happens afterwards. 2 by 3 accept. That looks fine. 2 by 2 accept. Okay, uh, for a 2 by 2 you'll notice this rib sticks out. Uh, we can easily get rid of that if we just go over here to the extrusion of that rib and we suppress that feature. So if I suppress it, click accept, you'll notice the rib goes away. Just remember that you suppressed it so that if you made a larger piece after this, you can get it back. So I'm going to unsuppress that for now. Let's make a 2 by one Click accept. So same deal with this, it does look a little weird. Um, what I would do to fix this one is suppress this circle over here. And then I would suppress that invisible extrusion we made, which is here. Because the part is too small to actually show that. And then we have a two by one. Okay, and let's just try to make this even smaller. I'm going to try to make it a one by one. Oh, and look at that. It works. And let's try something else. Let's try to make a one by four. Oh, perfect. Okay, well there you have it. That's just a quick rundown of different Lego pieces you can make and solutions to how to correct them should there be additional things you don't want. So that concludes this video. Hopefully I'll see you in part four.